While fewer people are going to the cinema in the rest of the world, in Turkey, attendance has doubled over the past decade. Last year alone, ticket sales rose 23 percent, while the number of cinemas grew by 3.2 percent. In Turkey, all the movie theaters are in the shopping malls, out of Istanbul especially. In Istanbul, we have some independent rooms that we are using also because we only use independent screening rooms. But when you go outside of Istanbul, everything is in the shopping malls and these, shop these movie theaters belong to one company also. You know, this is the big, big problem. That one company is Mars Entertainment. It has almost 750 screens under its Cinemaximum brand, giving Mars control over nearly two out of every three digital screens in Turkey. And that's made it the target of a South Korean cinema chain looking to expand across the world. By buying Mars in a deal valued at $800 million, CJ Group would expand its presence beyond Korea, China and the US. But some Turkish filmmakers don't want the deal to go ahead. They own the film distribution, production and the theaters, shooting, showing and distributing only the types of movies they want. This makes it a big problem. Mars Entertainment accounts for 52 percent of the Turkish box office. It controls 85 percent of the screen advertising market and operates 26 percent of all screens higher than in any European market. They don't give much choice. They give more or less the same level movies, you know. That's why they are, they are deciding of the, uh, you know, cultural level of the people. In 1948, the U.S. Supreme Court banned Paramount Pictures from producing films and owning the cinemas where they're shown. That decision inspired Khan Muchdeji and other filmmakers. They want to bring the influence of Mars Entertainment to the attention of antitrust regulators. Mars Entertainment, meanwhile, has not replied to a request for comment. Andre Pierre de Plessis, TRT World, Istanbul.